Today's class, I think, is, is the most important class of your entire college career. I'm not kidding you. Seriously. It's going to happen right now, the most important class of your college career. And everything I say, you're going to say, oh yeah, I knew that. Oh yeah, I get that. Or I've already thought that. Every single thing that I say, you will have already thought. That's a, also a guarantee. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put some things together in a way that will be so incredibly helpful for you as you go through life trying to understand the world. And some of you might think, you really might think, well, all, everything that he said, even after putting it together, I've already thought that. And I will say to you, no, you haven't. Because if I gave you the microphone right now and said, tell me about, answer that question for me, there's no way you would answer it in the way that I'm going to help you to answer it. So follow me, even if it sounds like you've heard some of this before, because it's a really, really awesome way to put things in perspectives. And I'm telling you, I think it's the most important class of your college career. Because when you understand this, you understand life. You understand life. Seriously, dude. I swear, man. Even a hippie like you. Look at you, Doug. All right. I mean, you can understand life with that too, but you know what I mean? Okay. So here's the question. How free are we to find success in life? Really? How free are we to find success in the life that we lead? The life that we lead. Because we can lead lots of lives. I can go up these stairs or these stairs, or those stairs over there, or through that door, or wherever I want to go, I can go lots of ways. But the point is, how free am I to find success in the life that I choose to lead, or that I lead? Not even choose to lead, I lead, okay? In success, we mean, you know, I'm happy, I'm safe, I make as much money as I want to make, not need to make, as I want to make, and other people feel a sense of positive regard toward me. Meaning that, you know, I get positive energy from other people. It's like, it's all good. Life is good. I'm really a success. And so for one person, success might be millions of dollars. And for another person, success might be thousands of dollars. Happiness can mean lots of different things to lots of different people. But the point is, how free are we to be successful? That's the question we're all trying to answer. And ultimately what we're trying to understand is causality in answering this question. What causes one person to be successful and another person to be unsuccessful? What causes one person to be able to make millions of dollars and another person able to, you know, barely able to get off the subsistence starting block? What is it that leads one person to have this amazing life full of just happiness and joy and love and people and another person just really struggling to figure it all out. Like what are those things? What's the cause behind that? The cause, the cause, the cause. Cool? Got it? That's what sociology is all about and in a certain sense that's what psychology is about. But that is what we're dealing with on a daily basis when we look around the world. Okay? Are we, we got that, right? Cause. What's the cause of success? It's the cause of life. It's the cause of all the, everything that we get to. Be, between, behind me dressing like this. Behind me having this haircut. Behind me being in this place. Behind me being wherever it is. Okay, cool? So, next slide, bro. Causality in the sociological sphere. Causality, divide it in two camps. On one camp over here is choice. We make decisions, we make choices to do X, to think Y, to engage in one kind of behavior. Choice. It's all about choice. Success is about choice. So all that other question, what, what are the factors that lead to success? Well, it's our choices. It's like we make decisions and those decisions lead to X, Y, or Z. Over here, it's chance. Success is really a great deal about chance. It's about where we're born and how we're born and who we are and what we look like and our skin color and our parents' wealth and our parents' education and what country we're born in and the skills that we're born with and are we disabled or are we right-handed or left-handed? Are we, what are they? All these things. Chance. It's like success. 
who we are, who I have become. Me, Sam Richards, the guy that grows up in Toledo, Ohio in the working class, ends up right here on this step at this point in time. Nobody would ever predict that I would end up right here. So you think, okay, nobody would ever predict that. Now, if my parents were professors, or even in the middle class, or upper middle class, or even emphasized school, or whatever the case was, or went to a good school, or I had a mentor at a young age, you could say, like, okay, well, chance really would come into play. But given that those things didn't happen, and I became a pothead at the age of 12, and all sorts of other things, then you think, well, choice. Sam Richards, in order to get to this step, to be in this room, must have made some choices. Must have made choices, because chance appeared to be stacked against me. My father died when I was nine. My mother was working three jobs all the time. I basically raised myself, you know, the whole nine hours. You're like, okay, this guy's never going to grow up to be much of it. We, we, he's never going to grow up to go to college, let alone to get a PhD and stumble his way into a, 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 an, a professorial job. So chance is clearly weighed against me. So you look at me and say, well, this guy clearly was making choices and the choices down here were the whatever he needed to do in order to climb this particular ladder and not only be on that step to be on this one and this one and this one you see so we're always going back and forth choice chance any explanation for success any explanation for failure any explanation for how and why people become who they become Rise to the place they rise to. Make decisions they make. Any explanation can be boiled down right here, y'all. Right here. Choice. Chance. It's an explanation that falls into the choice category or it falls into the chance category. One or the other. One or the other. Anything you can come up with for how it is that you, your grandfather migrated here from Jamaica and your grandfather had nothing, nothing whatsoever. And he got here in Jamaica and he made a decision, a choice to go to the United States with nothing. And he found a way to scrape by and he bought a bicycle because he had $10 in his pocket and he was smart enough to know he could go to some store and get a used bicycle for 10 bucks. And he used that bicycle to do something he knew how to do back in Jamaica. And that was make deliveries. And so he woke up at four in the morning and he started making deliveries. Choice, choice, choice. Okay, there's a chance in there because he had 10 bucks. He may have had nothing, right? He may have had nothing, but he had 10 bucks. He had a memory. He had an idea. He had something from back in Jamaica. In Jamaica, he might have grown up on the streets and not even had that experience, but he had something. So chance, choice. You see, back and forth. You're always going back and forth. Choice and chance. Once you understand that, y'all, once you understand that, once you see this paradigm, everything starts to open up. It's very simple. It's very simple. You've all thought it before. But now I'm putting it out there to really go into, okay? So here, let's do, next slide. Okay, J. 